guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jayla Corian. So let me tell you guys what we're doing. We're going apartment shopping. I am in the DC, Maryland area. This is actually where I go to school. This is where my dad's side of the family lives. Um, so I'm going into my last semester of college and I'm trying to figure out where does Jayla want to live? What makes Jayla happy? What's the most reasonable, logical, exciting thing for Jayla? Um, so I'm testing out different options. I, you know, I really like, I really would have liked to move to New York, but that's not my only option. Um, here, you know, it's where my family is. It has pros and cons, but we're still going to go look at some places because I don't know where I'm going to be in the next five months, you know? God may open up an opportunity where, you know, I have to relocate to, I don't know, California, or maybe I'll be in New York, or maybe I have a job in DC, but I just don't know. I was online last night on LinkedIn, like looking at jobs in the area for the position that I would want. Um, I also, I mean, I don't know. I've just been looking. My options are open. I'm single, no kids, not married. It's kind of like, I love the position that I'm in but it is kind of a hard position because I'm so young and it's like what do you, what do you know like what am I doing like where am I going I don't have I don't have a, a set place that I'm going to so it's like the options are endless and sometimes having so many options is not the best thing but we're gonna go look at apartments in the area and we're gonna see what the DC area has to offer um, this is my second choice because um, it still gives me the city vibe. I have found some places that still gives me that like luxury, lofty, um, high rise feel vibe. And um, yeah, so let's go. <laughs> I just want to commend myself really quickly on my parallel parking in North Carolina we didn't have to do parallel parking to get our permit or get our license so coming upstate where like you know a lot of people parallel park and you know paying for parking and all that bull um <laughs> I had to learn how to parallel park real fast and I did it um I do have to thank my car because I have the like you know the camera with the backup thing it tells you if you're in the lines or not so maybe I'm cheating a little bit but I'm still proud of myself because I'm in here okay I'm in here okay and this is the biggest um you guys have okay and they all have balconies the two or bedrooms, too. The two bedrooms? Okay. You can step that onto it if you'd like. Push down a little harder. Oof. I like this view better. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. I guess because the other one had the playground, you know, right there? Yeah, it had the playground, but it has the capital. Yeah, I guess I like that. <laughs> Glad you like it. I'll keep that in mind for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this this two bedroom is kind of tiny. Don't you think? The, just the second bedroom in general. The second bedrooms are generally a little bit more, a little bit smaller. Uh huh. Uh, but that can accommodate a king, so it's actually. Oh, it can. Okay. Uh, it's probably feels a little bit better with the queen in there, uh, but this other room, this other bedroom, feels pretty good with the king. This is pretty neat. It actually locks in the place. Oh, it locks too? Yeah, well, it's a little bit locked. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it takes a little bit of effort to do that in that position. And that's a queen, so you can see how the king would feel in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like the way this room is decorated. Yeah, it's doing a very good job decorating this one. That's a little window. I didn't see how these closets look. I really like this one. Ooh, look at this. And the shower, and then it connects over here. So this is the den. Yes. Okay, and they use it as a living room. That's cool. Okay, the sitting area. I do see what you say. Like the use of space is very. Absolutely. I really like this one. Is this the one bedroom? 
Yes, this is the one bed, one bath. Okay. Do they all have um, balconies? Uh, no, not all of them. Okay. Yeah. And some of our other ones, uh, I don't have any bigger ones to show, but they're more like a square mm -hmm. layout. Yeah. Okay. So they don't like all. Okay, the closet is huge. Oh my goodness. I'm like thinking, oh, the room is pretty small, but this closet, huge. Yeah, this is actually the one bed den. Okay. Two bath, yeah. Okay. That's quite a difference. Yeah, I really like this door here. That's really cool. Okay. Kitchen's pretty nice. This one's bigger than the um, one bedroom. But the, yeah, this is nice. And is this the den or is that the den? This is that the was the den? den? Okay. Bedroom, let's see. Closet is still pretty big. I really like that these closets are not tiny. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the one bedroom with a den is a lot bigger than mm -hmm. the one bedroom. Yeah, I really yeah. like this. And the second bathroom is uh, down there on the left. Okay. Is it closets in here with this one? Yeah, there's additional closets in there. Oops. Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Okay. This is really nice. And then the little storage, two closets. Yeah, I like this one. So, guys, I'm leaving this apartment that I was just touring. It was pretty nice. One thing I would say about DC con driving, parking, keep paying for these freaking meters. And I guess that's one thing that I really enjoy about New York is just hopping on the train, not really having to worry about your car. I mean, of course, like I would bring my car to New York for like gro grocery shopping is difficult in New York. Cause like, I just used to get my groceries delivered because I was not having trying to carry. I was one time I carried some groceries back to my room. I almost died y'all died. So, let me figure out the next place we're going to. These places were definitely on the, my affordable side of apartments. So let's see. I want, it's this next apartment that I, okay, this is, this one's another affordable one, but I want to go to one that doesn't have the black windows. I want to change it up and see a different like style because a lot of these apartments have the same like black window style. So let's see about this one. So that's a pretty cool Walmart. It's not like in a big building and it may be even underground. I just want to say my parallel parking is getting great because it's the third time I did it today and I'm up in this spot. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead into this apartment. So if you'd like to This one is the largest? It's the largest kitchen. So. Okay. The other one did seem kind of big, but It was yeah, that's the second largest, but this one has the most counter space. Okay. And cabinet space, so this is like a full-size kitchen here. Mm -hmm. you, have, you can fit up to four bar stools on this like peninsula slash island type thing here. Okay. Um, living room and dining room space right here. Pretty, pretty big. big size. Mm -hmm. um, you also have uh, a slight balcony there. It's more of like an extended Juliet balcony. Um, so if you want to put plants out there, if you just want to get some fresh air, you can definitely utilize that space. You can just go stand here and that's it. Yeah, basically. that's about it. <laughs> Small patio furniture, but I highly doubt it. Nothing gonna fit right there. <laughs> but it, it looks great if you put plants out there because uh -huh. it kind of adds a little bit of green in your apartment. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people will put plants in their apartment, but this way you can have that green like uh, touch without having to take up any space. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the plants. No plants. Mm -mm. Okay. So this is actually the master bedroom here. Mm -hmm. It has a double exposure. It has um. A northern and a western exposure. And the light should be on the side there. Okay. And this is the master bathroom? Yes. Okay. I like this one. Turn off lights. Yeah, this is a... a Would a king fit in here? Yeah. Okay. And then that's going to be your closet. So I'll be honest with you, closet space small. is small in this community. I won't lie with you. Great. So... 
you can definitely utilize the closet. Mm -hmm. I would probably recommend getting like a wardrobe or definitely a decent dresser or something like that. Okay. The guest bedroom is going to be on the left there. Okay. So it's perfect for office slash guest room or whatever you want to make it. Mm -hmm. Extra closet space. Yeah, you probably would need that in here. <laughs> and then the second bathroom is going to be there, so that would be for your guests. Okay. I think there is a two-level underground parking garage. Okay. So it's a reserved spot parking garage. Okay, this one's bigger. Yeah, this is the biggest one we had. Okay. So this This one's what I'm talking about. That other one, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was a little cubby hole. Yeah. Oh shit. Let me turn off the light. Okay. And then and you have the bathroom, master bathroom through there. This okay. one has a stand up shower and a tub. Mm -hmm. So you kinda have that option and the guest bathroom is attached to the second bedroom. Okay. The second bedroom is actually larger. It's just the closet. It's bigger than the other one. Yeah, so if you want to take a look at there, it's a really big second bedroom. So if you do have any guests, um, oh, it is big. One, oh, can you put lights in here? Or? Um, not in, there's nothing electrical wise in the ceiling, so you would definitely have to get some kind of like floor lamps. Okay. Yeah, really nice. I like this one better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Top space here, we have the pool table, flat screen. Um, we have the bar area through there, which you can reserve. So you can reserve this area? Yes. For like gatherings? Mm -hmm. That's nice. So if you want to have any private rooftop event, you can uh, reserve this room. Okay. And then you also get one of those grills there. If you'd like, you can go outside. Let me just open the door for you. Is it cold? Do you have the, no, it's not that bad. This is sort of Okay. You don't have to reserve any of the space if you don't want to have like a big private event. You can sit up there as well. A nice little bridge. Uh, this is like our serenity garden. So. Okay. And people walk on the grass? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They want you to. Like the owners told us we should take our shoes off and feel the grass between our feet. Oh. Said, I ain't taking my shoes off, but okay. I'll walk in the grass with you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they really want you to like embrace Embrace the... Green the space. And it's a lot more green, but obviously it's it's like winter. No, it looks pretty good the right now. Pavilion on the other side of there, we can okay. sit under like the shade. If you want, we can go up there. I, just, I know I don't want to go on my shoes. To, that's why. <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> um, but it's it's a great place to come and relax, and it's real quiet too. Okay. You really only hear the water. Oh, yeah. So guys, I have only one thing to say. Does the tour guide come with the apartment though? Like, does he come with it? Oh, he was some type of fun. Like, I mean, like, so pros about that place is they're having a special two months free rent. Um, parking is $200 normally. All the places that I went to, parking is $200 in the building. $200, but now it's half a price, $100. Um, what else? They have storage for $100 where you, you know, you can get storage in the building. Um, they can hold the apartment that you want for 60 days. Um, so that's a, a nice plus. And so guys, I'm back at my dad's house. I guess my question to you guys is if you were in my position, how would you choose what your next step in life would be or where you would move to if it was no limitations on you moving? If it was no limitations, how would you choose where you would move? Um, I guess that's my hardest thing right now and I'm gonna pray about it and see if God can show me a sign of where he wants me to be and where he wants me to move you know I can say all day oh I love New York and I want to move to New York but I have no set reason I mean yes it's, it's a lot of opportunities in New York and networking is great but I don't have a clear sign of like you know why New York it, it's just I like it <laughs> why DC my family's here at least here i can say oh you know i have a reason um so i don't know north carolina is kind of out of the question because it's it's too far from it's just not enough to do at least you know the dc area it's something to do so um yeah and i i guess uh, california is just like far 
it's not out of the question it's just far um but i don't know yeah i'm gonna pray on a sign maybe like a job opportunity or even something with youtube an opportunity with this or just something a little more clear that i can say okay yeah i'm going to this state and i'm moving to this state because i'm doing this not just off the simple fact like oh i i like it you know i want to i want a more a clearer reason that i think that's what i'm looking for but i hope you guys like going apartment shopping with me let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite i already know which one was my favorite and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys